everybody. Um, this Monday's video, I had planned to do a uh, American Girl doll video, but um, my allergies, I woke up, my allergies are crazy. Um, and so I was just going to hand the camera to Sabrina and say, here, make a video for tonight. Oh, here she comes. We're fending for, what? Dinner is ready. No, I'm having soup for later because I'm not feeling good. Okay. You can say hi. Hi. <laughs> I'm just going to do a quick call for today's video. Look at you covered in paint. Good thing you're taking a shower. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, I was going to give her the camera and say, do whatever you want. I may still. And um, I'm pretty sure it's just allergies. The pollen is so high here that our cars have been covered in yellow, which this is basically that time of year. Excuse me, I'm sorry, Mary Jo. <laughs> she come into the uh, yawning is contagious. <laughs> and um, I'm actually feeling right now a lot better. I'm, yeah, but you, anyways. And again, Mary Jo, thank you for commenting on the new hair. I appreciate it. Um, it did look really cute today. I had it all. You know, kind of pulled over with a little bit over here, and then my curls all foofed out, and then I laid down and took a nap. <laughs> you know, when you don't feel good. Um, you know you don't feel good when you want chicken soup. That's my thing. You just don't, you know, so that's what I'm going to be having for dinner. But I am so excited. I did a lot of pre-filming this weekend, so um, what I'm going to say now isn't going to make any sense in, f until the end of April, <laughs> but my company, um, when you get a recognition from a manager, you get a certain amount of points, which the points add up to dollars, and um, I don't know if management was told they had to do it last year or what, but a lot of us got 250, you get 250 points whenever management does this recognition for you, and in the past, you've been able to go and never would get that many points but you could go and pick things out like maybe a mug with the company name or a lunch pail you know that kind of stuff well I guess Amazon has a program that your company can sign up with them and you can go on the Amazon website with basically 200 or whatever $250 credit so i me and my other co-workers were like, OMG, this is terrific. There were things that I had in my Amazon cart that I said, I don't have to pay for it. I can just, you know, let work pay for it. So I wanted to share what I got for you guys. I do have a, these are my little packing slips. It came in today, ordered this Friday, got it today. There's still a few more things coming. But again, I wanted to share with you all since, um, and I'm sorry, none of it's American Girl doll related. It's all journaling related, craft related. So, um, first off, we did get a big ream, five reams of copy paper because one, they're expensive, and two, um, that'll last us if about a good year, maybe two years for um, us. So, it was like. And we're almost out. So it was like uh, something that we definitely can use. So um, let me start. So first thing, I tried to get stuff that I knew I would want. But it was like, oh, God, I don't, you know. I just don't have the money right now to be spending. And then this happens. So um, I got the three-pack of tacky glue. And isn't it, it's called a Aileen's, A-L-E. I'm sure you've seen if you've been at the Dollar Tree or Hobby Lobby or Michael's or Joann's or um, Walmart in their craft department. And these are the eight ounce bottles. So a three bottles, and um, I'll put it on, let you guys know, is $10.99 at Amazon. Now I don't have the sellers, but of course I'm sure if you just put in the name, It'll come up. I figure that should last me a little bit. I hope. <laughs> I hope. And then, 
Etsy. I'm trying to go with the way it is down here so I don't have to look for prices and make it easy. So then I got... I don't know anything about this person. His name is Tim Holtz. If you guys are scrapbookers or... Nothing else? Oh, there it is. I guess he's really big on the, like, vintage look. I mean, everyone seems to have them. My napkins are falling down. I, oh, okay, whatever. He, um, I got his ticket book. Seems to be the, all the rage of putting, like, vintage tickets in your journals. So, um, I figured I would get, again, it was something I was like, I don't want to pay this was ten dollars and fifty two cents for it says three hundred thirty five. There's three hundred thirty five in here. I'll be amazed. But um, they're basically like old, supposed to be like old fashioned amusement park type tickets. But like these are supposed to be like bus tickets. There's drive-in movie theater tickets. Um, just regular movie theater tickets. Like this one says five cents rides only. Um, good for one ride on airplanes. So it's just got little things. I still, there's some on AliExpress I want to get. So if you're interested, the Tim Holtz and Tim Holtz is sold. Um, I go to, as you guys know, Hobby Lobby because it's down the street from my house. Michael's is in the next town over. So it's about a uh, 20 to 30 minute drive to Michael's. So I don't get to Michael's that often. And um, so these are sold at Hobby Lobby. They're probably sold at Michael's. Tim Holtz, T I M H O L T Z. And then I know this last week, like all the Tim Holtz was 40% off. So at Joanne's, and Joanne's doesn't do coupons anymore, if you didn't know, which sucks. They took away, not Joanne's, Hobby Lobby took away their coupons. Thanks, Hobby Lobby. Then I also got, it's got to be this one. You know me. Alice in Wonderland, the vintage Alice in Wonderland, not Disney. Vintage Alice in Wonderland scrapbook paper. I know I didn't need any scrapbook paper, but I really want to do an Alice book. And um, there may be enough for me to do one for me and the one to sell, so... I don't know if you guys can see. I'll go a little slower. So there's like this one. You can kind of see here the heart paper right here. And then there's like cards. There we go. I'm just trying to get so you guys can see a little bit. So like journaling cards. Focus. Oh, that's the front cover. And then over here there was um some journaling more journaling tags. Some lined journal paper. I'm going to have a blast with this one. And again, there's some Alice things on AliExpress that I've been looking at. Put that right there. And that was $10.28. And the it's Stamperia. S-T-A-M-P-E-R-I. No, I-A or L-A. I think it's L-A. Stamp. Perlia, Stamperlia was the name of the company. And then we got the Tim Holtz Distressing Ink. So I don't have to use my that eyeshadow anymore. <laughs> and this was, I think, the most expensive item that I got. This was $22.50 for the four. Now, I know at Hobby Lobby, these range, I want to say uh, $7 a piece. And um, with the sale they were having this past weekend, they were $4 each. And this was, I said, this is the regular size. They do have mini ones, which I'm kind of like four to the mini. I think they, I want to say they run $11.99 at... Hobby Lobby, I don't know Michael's prices. I'm gonna say they're probably pretty close to the same. And and um, as I've been debating about getting the smaller ones, just so I could test different colors. 
I don't want to go hog wild on stamps because I'm not going to be doing a lot of stamping. But I got the black soot. And these came like, these were the ones that came. You didn't get to, get to choose. So black soot. Antique linen. And I'm just going to, there I go. Walnut stain. And then the vintage photo. I know there's a few more of like the brownish type colors that I'm interested in. Like, again, when they have a sale, I might pick them up. Uh, I did see some um, some people selling a group or a lot on Macari for about about the same price, twenty three up to thirty dollars, depending on what they were selling. He also does on um, sprays for distressing, and he does. The inks for re-inking your pads. So, um, yeah. <laughs> okay, so we got all of them on this one. Next one we have... Uh, okay. This one here. Look at the sweet envelope. Is that not sweet? Look at the little sticker. The vintage leaves. And the singer, this is a sticker. And then it's got some kind of, like, invoice stamped on there. This definitely will be going in a book. It's like I don't want to, I can't remember, I'm sure you're making these for other people to buy. <laughs> but this is by Valinka Vintage Junk Journal Supplies, Coffee Dye, Decoupage, Paper for Scrapbooking, Embellishments, Craft Paper for Journaling. And it was $11.88. I know, I can't remember exactly how many you get in here. And I won't go through every single one. But it's a pretty nice little stack for that price, I feel. Um, but you did get four small coffee dye doilies. And just to kind of show you guys an example. So for, like this is showing an advertisement for a ladies catalog. And another ladies' advertisement. And let me get some littler ones. This is just like a picture of some ducks. Supposed to be like a vintage, you know, picture. Um, like for example, this one. And this one. Let's get something different to show you. There were like business cards too. That one's kind of plain, but this I thought was kind of interesting. I said, I wonder if this was a real campaign. Don't be a rough rider in your own vehicle. And it's a horse and buggy. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, um, this was a lady's pocket calendar. So just different things. Like another tickets. Kind of vintage looking. Vintage seems to be... The, the craze right now. This is like Women's Weekly or Merchant. What is it? The North American Weekly. And I do like vintage. I don't know how much. I mean, I'm not. I don't know. I guess it seems to be what everyone's doing. I want to have a variety though. I just don't want to have all vintage albums. Um... There. So that was eleven dollars and eighty-eight cents. Next we have okay, the washi tape. And this was from it just says 18 rolls, vintage washi tape, map, stamp, letter, and T oh sold by Daputio. And it's here on the box. D-A-P-U-T-O-U. And you get 18 rolls. And this was $12.99. I mean, that's not bad for $12.99. And, uh, let's see if I can get one out. I haven't opened any of them yet. I just kind of unrolled just a little bit. These are more, I think, like a... Okay, sticky's good. Okay. Kind of like a... There we go. 
these are definitely a lot nicer than the ones you get from Michaels. Because the ones that I've been using, they just don't stay down. But that's really nice. And it goes. And then there's some with floral. And there's the world map one. Let me pull out the world map one. So again, kind of that vintage, antique look. The world map. Uh, there's some vegetables and more fl and floral prints and some music notes. <sighs> oh, some news newsprint. This is a little one. So you get the big ones like that, and then it also came out to this. So you get the big one, and then you get like these medium size, kind of just regular size. Here's that newspaper print. To these itty bitty little ones. So you get a variety of sizes, which is nice. I would definitely, so far, just from the looking at it, the price, definitely something I would purchase. Um, again, for $12.99, you get 18 different sizes. I would definitely do that. I wonder, is this a made in China brand? Made in China. So I'm wondering if you could get the same brand on um, I wonder if you could get sorry guys over the phone call coming in a spam phone call. Don't you love them? Okay. Then I got for $13.59 40 yards of cotton lace. Let me show you back here if you guys can see. I haven't opened them yet. And I'm not, I don't like the pure white. I like more of the, the beiges and the creams and scissors. Go. So this comes, basically one, two, three. Four, five, six things to get like this one. And it's coming up a little whiter than it is, but it actually is more of a cream beige. And yeah, they are different. Okay. And then this one. They're really nice. And I've been wanting to get to some from AliExpress. But then when this opportunity came up to work, I was like, well, I don't have to get anything to AliExpress at the moment. But AliExpress, I noticed on their journaling or stationary stuff, it takes a good two months. Where with the American Girl Doll stuff, it only took maybe a few weeks. So I don't know why that is. But this one's just a smaller one. And then you have a little smaller. Was that, that this is a nice thick a nice one and then a little small ones and I see it one two three four five six seven eight different um eight different are they called rolls because it's not you know yarn is yarn is skin thread comes in a Cool. I'm not sure. But anyway, so you get eight of those. And I'm just going to wait on this stamp. One. <laughs> and I got some more of this. Um, I got this glue. A lot of, uh, it's mono glue liquid that a lot, I saw a lot of people using and recommending. They had the blue one. But this one was three for glue is expensive. Three for fifteen dollars and nine fifteen dollars no fourteen dollars and fifty cents is uh, sold by Pro Buy Offers. It's called Tom Bow T O M B O W Liquid Glue. This is a three pack. And my. Why am I struggling? I have scissors. I 
And so this is a three pack. It's got a pen tip and a broad tip. And the ounces. Uh, 88 ounces point made in Vietnam used for paper photos postcard poster board etc glue dries clear permanent removable bond removable bond moderately applied glue okay so so it's uh liquid glue by Tombow and this is three of them for $14.50. And I just basically took advantage of my company. But here, man, the rest. Anyway, took advantage of them to get some glues. Because glue is one of the most expensive things you buy and that you use the most. Then, let's see. Got that one. Okay. I'm missing a little receipt. Sorry guys, I thought I had all of them to show you the price, but these are get these are Tom Holtz again, Tim Holtz again. This is um his paper dolls and this is his group and there's 50 pieces. So you get like all these different group of people. And I wanna say on sale at Hobby Lobby, this was about four dollars. So I'm not sure what I paid or what. Amazon had it at, again, it's, I was watching a lady make things with these, because at first I was, I, I've looked at them a couple of times at Hobby Lobby, and I'm like, I don't want them, but I was watching a lady do things, I was like, some kids, they're just kind of sitting there, this is really, actually, very nice quality, it doesn't really bend, as you guys can see, it really is a nice quality, I'll take out one more to show you. It looks like all the kids are in the front and the adults are in the back. There's some more. So, uh, I saw a lady making like bookmarkers with these. Um, and using them in her books. So I, she kind of gave me some ideas. And then this one is the, this one comes with 83 pieces. And it's the solos. And it's sent again. Tim Holtz ideology and I don't know regular price like I said I have seen them for about $3.99 to $4 on sale at Hobby Lobby so just to show you ah I'm losing them so and here's a little boy and another looks like at one point it looks like they were sent on chairs and someone pulled the chair out from under <laughs> And then this one. These really would make, you know, she was making like little, like I said, little book marker type things with them. And there's men in there also. So, when I, like I said, when I saw her do them and the quality, I'm really glad now that I did. Forgive me, guys. I dropped one and I just don't want to lose it. Oh, there we go. Another little girl. Um, the quality is really a lot better than I thought it would be. I'm just kind of putting him down for a minute. <laughs> so, again, I thought I had, um, the paper with that. I apologize, I don't. That's something else. Let me just look at this real quick. Now, I'm going to say they couldn't be more than $10, maybe. Because that ticket book was $10.52. I'm not sure. I also got, and do I have the little thing? Nope. Okay, I don't have it for this either. Okay. This is the library card ephemera embellishment kit book. And as soon as I open it, you'll know why I got it. Like, oh, she is my eyes. <laughs> but then again, I just kind of flip, kind of, you have, like, these ones. So just different kinds. These are their uh, oracle cards. And you just cut them out and you put them in your book. 
This one says it's um, mass. And then there's some that don't have anything on it. This one is dragonflies. So, here we go. I'm thinking just looking up if um, you can buy just library cards. I'm sure you can somewhere just buy library cards. Then that one again, I'm sorry, I don't have the price. But compared to the other ones that I got, I'm going to say it was about 12 between the 12 to $15 range. I'm going to say that was on the lower end. Oh, guys. I'm definitely making a book out of this for me. This one was the Forest Witch Junk Journal Pages and Ephemera. <gasps> I'm going to kind of just turn it over so you can see. I just saw this and it was like, oh, yes. I like this part. It says, um... Uh, the earth and its wonders. This is a little squirrel. But I'll open it kind of like so. I'll just flip through real quick. Look at how pretty these are. I could see that as a cover right there. Um, we are the granddaughters of the witches you weren't able to burn. I hope you guys know when I say I'm a witch. I'm not like practice scene and I don't like practice wick and stuff I do believe in God I do we talked about it before about going to church so I just hope it doesn't freak anybody out <laughs> I said that it's more like the modern definition of a witch is the you know someone who does who it's just I just think that unfortunately witches still get a bad rap they still get a bad name Let's look at these pages, though. They're just so... I may never touch this book. I might leave it completely. But anyways, there's that one. And that one was 11... It was 13. And I think what it is is more like I love spooky season. I love October. October is my favorite month. The pumpkins and all the Halloween. I don't like horror. I don't like gore. I don't like any of that. I love the fun of Halloween. And then I, so I got this Halloween ephemera book for junk journals. There's a lot of the vintage looking. They used to send out Halloween cards, just like you would send a Valentine card. Or Now, there are some things in this book I do not like and will probably never use. I might use the card and cover it up. What I liked about this one is it says in this one, a vintage Halloween theme collection for authentic ephemera for junk journals, scrapbooking, Um, collage, decoupage, and feeling. Each embellishment page is blank on one side for easy crafting. You are free to copy, scan, transfer, or resize images. So that's what I liked about this book. The witch one and the um, library card one, it says right in there, no recopying of any kind. And I thought that's kind of rude. But I love how this one, I love how this one feels too. Let me see. Look at the old vintage. I like the old vintage Halloween look. Um, look. So you don't throw these in just a regular journal. I don't even have to clean this for Halloween. Mm. Look at the look at the cat. I still have a black cat. So it's just to me, the month of October is one of the funnest. It's a very fun month. And if you actually look at the 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 history of Halloween, it's very interesting, very very interesting. Um, so I just kind of mm -hmm. I know my friends want to go ghost hunting. I don't think I want to do that. Anyway, so there's that one. So those are two I was really excited to get. And this one I really am excited about also. So see, total different side to me. I've got all the sides. I've got all the sides. Um, so that one was $14.99. And that book is sold by Halloween Ephemera for Junk Journal. Da, da, da. Paper Publishing Peter Paperbacks. Okay. 
This one's the Coffee Lover Vintage Junk Journal Pages and Ephemera. It was $11.99. Over 110 cutouts. I'll just show you the back. So it's all like vintage coffee advertisements. I told you guys I wanted to do a coffee book. I... There we go. And I'll just kind of, again, I'll just kind of flip real quick. So you guys can just see some of the pages. Oh, there we go. So you can use that whole page. The problem is you use that whole page. Oh, see, it's blank on the other side. So that's what I like about this company and the Halloween company, too. They use it so that you won't feel bad about cutting something up. See, so yeah, unattended children will be given espresso and a free kitten. <laughs> um... Now this one says no part of this book may be reproduced by any means. Just more coffee paper. You know, and you cut these out for tags. Uh, journaling tags, just tags. Here's some more vintage coffee. Posters. And other coffee page. So this whole book right here would probably make one, maybe two journals. So I've got that one. And like I said, that one was $11.99. Now, I wanted to save these two for last. <clears throat> you know, one minute you're looking at the next minute, it's gone. Okay, that's that. It's got to be over. Nope. Oh my goodness. Okay, there it is. I got a grommet setter. So it has the you know, box. And this was a grommet setter. It sold, looks like, by um, Sweet Peat. S W P E E T. Uh, 300 piece, 10 colors um, grommet setter. And hole punch. Sorry. <laughs> so here's um, some of the parts for the grommets. And you get all these different color grommets. And these are good for when um, you're trying to set a book, like a small book. And for the bindings. And then here's the... This is a heavy sucker. This was... So this is a hole punch and a grommet setter. So... Heavy duty eyelet plier. Protec is the company. So we'll see how it does. We'll see how it works. We'll, we'll play around. And then my last item, which is what I was really excited about getting. Now I gotta write some letters. And you'll see. <laughs> yeah. Okay, last item, last item. I got. I told you I cleaned. But no, I'd like to put all this stuff on here. Four. This is my last item. My one I was so excited to get. And it is the Wax Seal Stamp Kit with gift box. 24 colors and 624 pieces of wax. Um, and it is sold by Edison USA. And it was $22.79. It comes in this box. That box is really pretty. Which I definitely will keep it in. And then... So it's a sealing wax. Came with 10 tea lights. Comes with the um, the wax melting thing. So what you do is you put your tea light here. And this is where you put your wax to melt it. And it comes with all these wax pellets. So basically any color you would almost want. This will take me forever to get through, which makes me excited. Came with envelopes really nice thick envelopes and hey girl i'm almost done your shoulder bugging you a little mm -hmm. she's supposed to go to practice tomorrow and coach said that she um he would love for her to come but I'll probably just sit out and he won't have her do anything this is the spoon that you put the wax in to melt it and then we put it in and you have your candle here and you put the wax the spoon right here 
for that to melt. And then once it melts, uh, then once it melts, you pour the wax onto your spot or onto your envelope to seal it. And then you take your sealy, I don't know what these are called, but this is a stamp. And this one just came with one, which is a tree. And you just take it and boop. And you seal your envelope for, you know, Mom. hold on. You want me to start making your soup? No, I'll, I'm going to go make it now. Okay. And some tweezers. So that, you guys, is what my company basically got me for being a good girl and doing my job. <laughs> Uh, I hope you are en you're enjoying enjoyed this little haul. I guess I do have a couple more things coming that I'll show you guys. Um, I will be using this stuff. I'm so excited about those books that I showed you guys. All of them. The coffee one, the Halloween one, the, the forest witch one. Ah, it doesn't want to close correctly. Um, so... Oh, my nose is about to sneeze again, guys. So, I'm going to go talk to y'all later. Have a great week. We'll see you on the flip fights. See. We will see you on the flip side. <laughs> Subscribe, like. Bye, guys. <laughs>